All right, so I have finally become a paladin and I must say I look like a badass mother ducker Yeah, bravs. I am ready to take on anything. Look at me. Damn This is some commanding presence. I have here Now while you were asleep nasty I did a little a little bit of inventory management and I sold some of the items well mostly weapons that I don't use or I don't intend to use and I figured out that until now I've been using mostly um, the normal kind of weapons right so for melee I was using some physical damage melee and for ranged I don't really know I guess this is kind of more of the same or either way I'm thinking that maybe the melee weapons at least are better the ones that have some kind of uh, different status damage say radiation or bleeding or fire right so the only weapon I can equip right now that has a status effect is this one uh, the Ignis artifacts the one that we found in where was it, it was on an island somewhere uh, hold on, let me remember this. I think this is uh, kind of interesting. Uh, it was right here, right east of uh, Goliath. It was guarded by some really strange creature. But anyway, I'm thinking after trying out the snake bite, that weapons that have some status damage deal more damage. Maybe they bypass armor. I'm not really sure. I don't know if this also applies to ranged weapons, but. Either way, I guess I'm going to have to do a little bit more testing. So there's that. I also learned a couple of more skills, right? I invested a little bit into melee weapons, range weapons. Basically, I kind of just used the uh, some of the elex that I made to craft a couple of skill potions. So I invested those skill points into some of this, like mutant killer, machine killer, jetpack. And from the clerics, I learned a couple of new abilities like this power wave, last the last stand, and t -t 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 a power shield, right? And that's about it. So, yeah. I've been busy while you are taking a nap. I didn't want to bore you with all this uh, inventory management stuff. Just in case it's not technically very exciting. Right, so what should I do now that I'm a paladin? Well, I think I've been neglecting a little bit the companions and I have some missions for the companions. I promised you four at the very beginning of this journey that I would help him, uh, but yeah, he was very far away somewhere in the north of Opesa. Then I also promised Duras that I would help him again at the very start of the mission, but that mission required me to travel everywhere. And it wasn't really accessible or, you know, uh, such a good idea to go, you know, exploring the map willy-nilly. I kind of had to take it systematically. So, my suggestion is, let's start helping Duras. Okie doke. So, let's start testing some things out. I suggest we start with the Redeemer, see how this one behaves. Also, with the influence of this ranged attack buff, right? Well, <laughs> oh, at least I take less damage. Okay, awesome. So, the damage is definitely there because I've increased not only my skill with ranged weapons, but also this buff deals like 50 extra damage. You want trouble? You got it. Hi. trouble yeah I just wanted to see if you can handle that but never mind I mean nasty deals good damage is just that you know convincing her to attack is another matter altogether okay now it'll get interesting right but what was the interesting about this place there was a guy with a zombie brother oh well, I guess you can easily tell what happened there. Oh man, I knew this was a bad idea. 
I'm sorry, brother. You know what, Nasty? Life has taught me that it's good to stick with my instincts. I thought it was a bad idea, but I was just too naive, too sentimental. And some other guy paid with his life for it. Though, to be fair, I'm not sure I could have handled it differently. I mean, the guy was probably prepared to fight me to save his brother. So, either way, I think his fate was probably sealed. Uh, what can I do? It is like that sometimes, eh? There are no good options, just the lesser evil, maybe. Okay, so we are supposed to meet up with another Berserker somewhere along the way. Uh, you know what? I should also look into using my melee weapon a little bit. I have no experience with two-handed weapons, but it may be a good time to learn. At least on some of these uh, lesser creatures. <gasps> Wow, alright, that worked. Cool. Which means I don't need to expand my energy and I don't expend my energy. And uh, also I don't need to waste ammo. So it's a win-win to just use the melee against critters and whatnots from now on. But either way, I do have options, yes? Ah, oh, perfect. How about this? Let's try to take out a troll, yeah? Uh, doo -doo -doo Let's try with ranged weapons, with the redeemer. Yeah, I'm coming. Oh, I'm barely doing anything. Alright, that's not great. Okay, let me prepare a little bit just in case it goes haywire. Whoa! Okay. This doesn't work. Right, so the fire damage does stick away at him. Look at that, that's great. Whoa. This sword not only does it look badass, but the lingering damage is awesome. Yeah, sorry. I'm still testing things. I don't know what's effective, what's efficient, etc, etc. So the Redeemer does have some EMP damage, whatnot, and uh, some kind of a CC mode, but it doesn't really seem to do that much damage, or maybe it's just my imagination. But the normal mode works just fine, so there we go. I'm happy with everything, especially with this sword here. Okay, so the Berserkers have a little bit of a camp. Is That kind of looks like a platform thingy. Hold on for a minute or two while I do this. Right, and using the jetpack reminds me that I also learned that jetpack attack skill. Maybe I can try to use that as well. Oh, I'm so fucked. Okay. 
Well, I failed the platform, but at least I didn't die in the process. Who are you? I am Leonard. Berserker, prospective hunter, and apprentice. At least I will be if Master Garen will teach me. You're learning to be a hunter? I'm an apprentice. Do you have any hunting experience? Yeah, definitely. I'm a born hunter. You are? What have you seen? Have you seen swamp spiders or trolls? Did you fight them? There's yes. There's not much on Magalan I haven't fought. You don't have a choice when you're out here in the wilderness. Before anything else, you must be quick. Quick? Quick, yes, that's what Master Garen says. Seems he does know what he's talking about when he talks to me. You don't hunt together then? We have, but last time we went out, I made too much noise. We were attacked by raptors. He let me try and shoot the pack leader, but... But I dropped my bow. You dropped your bow? I know, I know. We were moving, I stumbled. Then it was too late. We had to run. Master Garen has not really spoken to me since. You lost your bow? Yes, I wasn't going to stay there unarmed. I ran. So, get another bow. Garen... Master Garen won't let me have one. He says I have to make one. He's not taught me how to make one. I need my old one back. How can I hunt without a bow? Make a new one? Where would I even start? You must be able to find the materials you need around here. Didn't Garon tell you anything? He pointed at some trees he said were good, and said something about animal sinew or hide or something from a plant. Then where's your problem? Getting all that stuff without getting killed. I'd still rather get my old bow back. Please, will you help me? I can pay you if you do. I will find your bow. If you do that, you will have my eternal thanks. And I will also give you a few shards in addition to my portion from the hunt. Oh, and this needs to stay between us. I don't want Garen to learn about it. He'll get over it when I have my bow back. But if he hears in advance, he'll try and talk you out of it. Where did you lose your bow? Everything happened so fast, I can't really remember the exact spot. In any case, it was to the north. By the cliffs below, under Goliath. That's a lot of ground to search. Yeah, but at least the raptors have moved on. They followed us, so they're not around there anymore. If I think of anything else, I'll let you know. What a fucking wreck. Well, I'm not sure if I should be helping this guy, to be honest. I think his master had the right idea. If I help this guy with his bow, he's basically not learning, yeah? So I'm stealing his learning experience. Hey, you, what are you doing? You're scaring away everything within a day's walk. You crash around like that, you'll scare off anything you can eat and attract everything that wants to make a meal of you. Okay, can you teach me, mister? I don't know these forests. That's as plain as a horny troll in your sleeping sack. You'd better learn quick if you want to stay alive. You're scaring away the prey that is my livelihood. It's hard enough bringing in the food I have to, without some big-footed oaf crashing through the forest. Still, seeing as you aren't a natural hunter, maybe you'd like to buy some goods from me. Uh, I'm not a natural hunter, but I'm pretty damn good at hunting. You're a hunter? Yeah, I found my place. This is where I belong, with nature and for nature. I want nothing to do with Goliath. Why not? Too much talking, too much bullshit. Out here, peace. But you look like a talker. Is that why you're here, to talk? What are you hunting? Whatever I find. You can't be too picky if you want to hit Goliath's quota and feed yourself. You won't catch anyone in Goliath roasting a rot boar. They're missing good meat. A berserker was killed. The body was found in the forest. The forest is a dangerous place. The berserker who was murdered was called Asgore. Did you know him? Asgore? That asshole. Yeah, I knew him. I kept out of his way. He kissed Ragnar's ass and treated everyone else like rot boar shit. Sociable guy, aren't you? Sociable just means happy to talk shit. I don't talk shit. 
When were you last in the forest by Goliath? I don't know. Not for a year. This is the best area for hunting, and all Goliath cares about is me filling my quota. As long as I send them meat and fur, I can stay out here away from small talk and politics. Do you always hunt with a bow? A bow? Traps? You should always try and kill at a distance. Learn that, and you will live longer. I'm here to feed berserkers, not the creatures. You didn't like Ascor. I didn't put myself in a position where I needed to. Little shit won't be missed. It sounds like you had a grudge. I think most people are assholes. You only ask me about Ascor. What's with all these questions? Is some asshole trying to pin this on me? <laughs> I'm questioning anyone I meet out here. If you want an alibi for me, you'll have to go out there and speak to the raptors. Is that your only alibi? I'm a hunter. You want to know where I am? I'm always here in the forest. Well, yeah, some, well, all of them so far have said that they didn't do it. But most of them didn't have either the chance or the motive, so it's all kind of tricky with this one. I should tell him about his apprentice. I think the master really knows what he's doing. Leonard, your apprentice wants his old bow back. I told the boy to make a new one. He will only become a true hunter if he learns. And this is his lesson. No. I'm not going to help Leonard. If you find Leonard's bow, you give it to me. Okay, sure. Do you want to stay a hunter? Nothing wrong with hunting. Let other people kiss ass and climb ladders. I want to stay out here. It's bad enough they send me these half-baked apprentices. <laughs> you don't like apprentices? Apprentices want to be hunters. I get people who don't want to be anything else, so get sent here. You don't think they deserve a chance? Sending them here just gives them a chance to get killed. Live day to day, having to hit your quota of meat to send home, while you train people who don't want to be here? I went hunting with Leonard a few days ago. He was so clumsy, he brought a whole pack of raptors down on us. We got home here with no meat, and all of those damn raptors followed us <laughs> right back here onto our hunting grounds. I'm not doing that again. You should take care of the raptors. Hunt raptors alone? Sure. Why not? What's the point of living, hey? Me? I'm gonna have to wait those raptors out. And Goliath will get its meat when I'm ready. Well, I already took care of the raptors. Mostly did it alone, though. About the raptors. Those raptors are dead meat. We can get back to hunting again now. Well... I take my words back. You have proved yourself. Maybe I have grown too cynical in my time out here. I certainly didn't expect you to survive, let alone kill those raptors. Well, definitely don't try this by yourself. Is that all you want from life? What else is there? Hunting, fresh air, and... Well, Goliath does have one thing to offer that can't be found here. Beer? What is that? Beer. Fuck yeah. I can't remember the last time I had one. Beer is the only thing missing from life. No, man, I can't believe it. Like, this is some karma shit happening. I saw the beers accidentally, and I did say I might need them for some quest. And go figure, I need them for some quest, man. Yeah, sorry, bruvs. Go ask Goliath, I guess. Ask Goliath to send some. Goliath doesn't send anything unless you go there in person. Then forget it. You're better here. You're right about that. For all its clean sheets, I always leave Goliath feeling dirty. <laughs> what do you have to trade? Okay. Whoa, he's got a truckload. Oh no, that's me. I have a truckload of raw meat. Mister, I mean... Maybe I should teach you how to hunt. Eh? That is nuts. Right. He's got also arrows that I don't use, but it's good to know. Okay, well, I'm glad I talked to the master because I didn't think it was a good idea to help the apprentice. 
The apprentice needs to learn how to become a hunter. And part of that is knowing how to make your own bow. What you gonna do when the master is gone, eh? If you don't know how to make a bow, you should learn how to. Ya basic, you fool. Alright. Uh, I should probably not be here. But what I want is a bed so I can regenerate a little bit. Okay. No point in waiting until night time anymore. We've heard a horde of mutants is approaching the border to Zaycor. How many? I don't know, but there's at least two Cyclopses with them. Someone in Zaycor wants to secure the West. Mutants aren't an organized force. They're just a pack of dogs to unleash. It might just be them disrupting the forces there rather than invading. Do you want to go in there? You well, know what? This is all fucked, isn't it? Um. You know what? I'll tell you when to go because I've done that a lot with Ray and I really don't enjoy it. Let's do this on my own time, right? Not yours. Sure. So, two things right over here. First of all, let me try to do this platformer thing one more time. Although I don't really know what I expect from it. But this is just to satiate my curiosity. Is that a troll boulder? What the hell, man? Well, Stranger Things, I guess. Wait a moment. That looks like wine to me. Well, the guy wanted beer. Tough luck, bro. I accidentally sold my beers. What can I do? Alright, so he said go north. Under Goliath and look for the bow. I guess we'll do that. Don't want to have this guy on, on my conscience if he bites the dust. Right, and as far as general hunting goes, I suppose we'll just stick to the normal usual stuff. That fucking brood is looking for trouble! And adapt with melee and range if necessary. No, in this case, it may definitely not be a good idea while I'm tanking. Right, but if Nasty is tanking, then it may be an excellent idea. Great. That will absolutely save me some energy. Do I have the correct uh, amulet equipped and yada yada yada? Mm, no, I did not. There we go. That should solve everything. So, we can pretty much explore in peace now. It's not like there's something out there that will provide too much of a challenge. We have all the tools necessary to, you know, have a comfortable time with this. Right, this is kind of where I dropped at some long time ago. Went exploring just out of curiosity. Oh, 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 oh. And we have some forlorn right off the bat. No problem. Now this is a place we can have some fun. We can definitely have some fun now. Okay, let's just bait them and whittle them down a little bit. We don't really even need to go too far, just... You want trouble? You got it. Awesome, I love it. Man, this sword is fantastic. I should try out that uh, jetpack attack thing. I honestly don't know how it's supposed to work, but maybe I'll figure it out. Hey, is that the bow? Yes. Well, I didn't expect it to find it here, but sure. Let's go back and give it to the master. So he can scold his pupil there.
Here, I have Leonard's bow. That boy can't find his own ass in broad daylight. Hmm. He'll have to learn fast if he's gonna stay alive. Why they send me these scraps, I'll never know. Well, you good luck. Cool. You have good luck with them, yes. Alright, so we have pretty much interrogated everybody regarding this berserker murder. But... The most impressive pigsty in Idan. I bet there's a warlord squatting in there somewhere. You bet correctly. I can't figure out who exactly is the victim or the perpetrator. The victim I know. The perpetrator I don't know. Duress. I know you gave me this mission a long time ago, but... Mister, I can't figure it out. About Ascor's murder. Thorgal wasn't anywhere near Goliath at the time of the murder, and he has witnesses to prove it. <sighs> yeah, he's also too skilled a fighter to have left Ascor such a bloody mess. So, he's out as a suspect. Garen just wants to hunt. He didn't like Ascor, but I don't think he killed him. Besides, if he had killed Ascor, he'd have used his bow, not a sword. Yeah, all Garen wants is to hunt. He'd have no motive for this. That's what it's I said. It's not conclusive, but I don't think it was him. I agree. I don't think it was him either. Let's take him off the list. I think we're going to take off everybody off the list. Yrdor didn't have time to commit a murder. He's tending to the world hard and looking after supplies. Besides, he's just too weak to have killed Asgore in the way you described. Yes, I agree. I don't think Yrdor was capable of this. That's one less suspect for us. Okay. Well, it's great that we're crossing everybody off the list. Rock wasn't anywhere near Goliath when the murder was committed. He didn't like Ascor, but I don't think he could have done it. I'd say he didn't kill Ascor. I didn't think he would have the opportunity, but Ragnar insisted I look into him. I guess Ragnar was wrong. <laughs> well, surprise, surprise. As it turns out, Ragnar is wrong about a lot of things. You recently became a warrior, didn't you? You and Ascor are both eligible to be paladins? Yes, but trust me, I'm happier with my job collecting waifs and strays than becoming a paladin and going out to the front lines. I think I'm making more of a difference doing what I'm doing. Ascor, though, was a driven man. Becoming a paladin was all he wanted. I don't think Baron did it. Ascor was his friend. And Baron just wants to be left alone. I don't see why he'd murder anyone. All right. Even though he knew Ascor better than most, yeah, you're right. He doesn't have the energy, or the motive. Frankly, I only think Ragnar wanted Baron questioned in case he had seen anything. And it looks like he didn't. Let's take him off the list for now. You were right. The investigation was a waste of time. It must have been someone outside of Dan. All of his suspects are innocent. It's Ragnar we'll have to convince. He is certain one of them did it. He's not often wrong. Then who do you think it was? I don't know. Then tell Ragnar that. What about Baron? He didn't have a proper alibi, did he? There was no one there to say he was at his post. And of all the suspects, he knew Ascor the best. And it must be him. The others all have alibis. And Baron knew Ascor better than the others. I thought you said Ragnar only included Baron in case he saw something. Ragnar wants answers. He's insisting the murderer is found. You've questioned everyone, and Baron's the only one without a decent alibi. Do you know where Baron is? I found him in the forest, but he said he takes time off to go to the lift into the Valley of the Damned. Then we should go there and see what we find. You want me to come with you? Mm, do you want to do that right now? Hmm. Why would Baron talk about that place if he had something to hide? Since when have criminals been clever? And Baron's not that smart. Maybe he just let something slip. You're serious? You really think Baron did it? What other leads do we have? Look, let's just check this out and then we'll know for sure. 
What do you think we'll find there? Who knows? But we don't have any evidence so far, so it feels like we should check this clue out. At least so we can tell Ragnar that we did. All right. I'll search the area near the lift that Baron talked about. What is it I'm looking for? We won't know until we find it. Have a look around, bring me anything you find. Just don't interfere with it. What do you mean, interfere? Bring anything you find to me without disturbing it. Whatever you find, we should take it to Ragnar. Then you know what it is. No, I just... I'm warning you. Do what I say. Right. Just trust me. Your life might depend on it. I sincerely doubt it, and you're definitely hiding something. You know more than you let on. I could use your help. Then you have it. You think you can keep up with me? I mean, I use a jetpack sometimes. I know. I have one that I haven't taken to the pit yet. Can you use it though? You are a berserker. Yeah, sometimes rules can be bent. I'll deal with any trouble. Then let's go. There's an abandoned camp in some ruins to the west of Goliath. You can meet me there. You lead, I'll follow. There's a war coming. Something is happening in Zaykor, and I know it will bring danger to us all. We will have to stop it. So, you've joined a faction. Joining the clerics was an interesting decision, but, well, I suppose you know what you're doing. Great. <laughs> you fucked up then, didn't you? Eh, I don't think so. What are you on about, Nasty? All right, so now I have two people I have to do quests for. I say, let's do your thing first, Nasty, since you asked me first, and then I'll deal with Duras. We need to go there. Yeah, well, if you insist on knowing what the Albs are planning, but this had better mean combat, not just a look-see. Absolutely. Well, it seems as if the rumors are true. Two Cyclopses, let's take them down. Wait a second. First, we should... No waiting! We're not out here to wait, we came to fight. Just get your ass moving and get on with it. Damn, woman! Chill! Is looking for trouble. Right. That isn't going to work. Man, it's tough running out of stamina, yeah? Alright, melee was good against these small things. But against the big things, I'm not so sure about that. Let's try range then. Fuck no, that's going to take forever too. Okay, let's try uh, magic. If I could get these guys together, they'll definitely be more efficient that way. That's one down. Damn it, Nasty. You were so eager to fight. And you just rushed up ahead and got yourself hurt. And of course, now it's up to me to deal with this follow. What the hell is that? 
Is that too nasty? Mutants, Cyclopses, they'll do for a start. But you promised Albel Exeters. We'll get to them soon enough. Not soon enough for me. Let's kill these fuckers and go home. What are you doing rushing into combat like that? Are you trying to get us killed? I'm trying to get the job done. If you can't keep up, fuck off. I thought you were a fighter. I spend enough time just standing around in the fort. I took that place. I did. So show me another damn challenge and stop wasting my time. I'm not running around with you to take down a few creatures. Let's do something that makes a real fucking difference. You can get a challenge, but don't get us killed. You don't risk, you don't live. You don't live, you stagnate. You stagnate, you might as well be dead. Okay, sorry, I... Considering that you just literally charged at these motherfuckers and you got yourself incapacitated and I saved your ass. Damn. If you have guts and arrogance, it is my professional belief that you should put your money where your mouth is and prove it. Not run your mouth and then get yourself hurt. So what, uh, she's not following me anymore? Damn, son. Yeah, I guess I will stick with Duress or Falk. Lady, I don't want to leave you here in the middle of nowhere. What's going on? Are you coming or what's up? All right, let's find some trouble. Well, that you can probably handle. Well, anyway, I should probably go back to our camp. And see, oh no, 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 wait, 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 wait a minute. Don't I have something about you for? Yes, there might be something about you for. Okay, somewhat to the west of here. Maybe a good idea. Let's do it. A robot drone will probably give me less of a hard time than you, Nasty. I'm hoping so, at least. Oh, I should try out this other ability, which is uh, kind of an AoE thing. I didn't get a chance to look at it. I'm still trying to figure out what is the most efficient way to fight, but I'm not very impressed with range combat still. Even though I have all these damage boosts and when can we go? and I have invested quite a little bit in skills, it still doesn't seem like it's making a difference. And I'm still relying on magic and melee even. And I thought melee was going to be the weakest thing. That fucking brute is looking for trouble. Whoa. got to use my full ability there but um yeah I should still get these guys killed and of course nasty is down again don't 
leave me hanging again, okay? Lady, I mean, why are we talking about Elexitors and whatnot if one Reaper is giving you trouble, eh? Tell me. Tell me so I know, so I understand. The problem is that I should probably take a nap. Uh, yeah. Where do I do that? I should go back to camp and travel with somebody else. Somebody who is a little bit less excited, I think. Okay, Duras, you're with me. Come with me. You've already got someone with you. Okay, nasty then. You should go to the camp in Edan. Yeah, yeah. Great. Follow. Yeah. Oh, no. A quick nap, and then we'll go and see there. what about you for. There must have been a lot of civilians living here once. That really gets one person depressed. Best not to think about that, right? The loss of life was definitely significant. People say we're crazy to believe in nature, and then they put their trust in a thing like that. You mean the dome? Dude, that's kind of a marvel of technology. That's awesome. Get out of here, Duras. I like technology. Okay. I'll get this one. Right, so I kind of wanted to use my AoE there, but that did not look very promising, to be honest. Oh, but it did the crowd control him. The only issue is that it also consumed. A buttload of energy, man. I mean, I could have used my black hole and killed like a dozen of them. Yeah, not efficient whatsoever. It may be good as an emergency stagger, but nothing else. I shouldn't use it too often. I'll help you. Oh, you've got a bow. Awesome, dude. Ooh. <laughs> Yep. Yep, I'm too scared to try to fight it. You know, I really wish I understood how the aggro mechanic works. Okay, you know what? The next uh, creature we find, I'm going to try this jetpack attack thing. Whoa! Nice! It uses all my jetpack charge, but on the bright side, you know what? I these are the things we're fighting for. I figured that I don't really need to attack too much with the fire sword. If I can just tag them and play it safe, it may actually work out better. Uh, did we check out whatever is going on over there? Uh, you know what? We will explore the rest of Megalon, I guess. Eventually, but not right now. First, I should focus on the rest of my tasks, like helping out my companions, and then we'll see about the rest. I think that's a good strategy, no? We'll have a couple of exploration sessions. Right, that looks like a nightshade. I'm not going to fool myself into thinking that I can handle this the normal way. So let's do it in the true and traded way. Let's go. All I have to do really is just dodge. Well, it depends because it could almost not reach me there. Yeah. 
That has a limited range. It's probably not gonna reach me. It's very close though. I should be careful. Cool. Okay, looks like an orb force field. Are we getting close to that? Yes, I know where we are. Dude, you should look out for mines. No, no shit. It's like some kind of uh, compound. Here. Not the compound. Uh, probably not going the right way here. It's kind of a house they were defending for some reason. Another statue to Kalan. And some clerics. Look out. Let's go. Oh, so it is possible to fail the thing. Well, all I have to do is just do a jetpack attack, apply the burn status, and chill. That's all I need to do. No stress arena. Hey man, have we been here before? But what's up with those clerics? They're kind of chilling there. I thought for a second that maybe they needed help with the raptors? I don't know. Uh, what's up guys? Hello? May Kalan watch over you. Yeah, yeah. Is the guy who recruits. I wish I had run into this guy when I first came uh, to Ignodon to become a cleric. That was a definitely tough ride. But, no way to know about him, eh? Oh, don't I have this? Nice. Okay. Am I getting distracted? I what yes, I am. Was. We will find out eventually, I promise. Just not right now. I think we should be close already. Where is that drone of mine? Okay. Getting close to that converter. Newton? Okay, I can use the black hole then. All right, then. Man. Maybe I should have invested sooner into 
melee so I can equip status melee weapons. I think that would have saved me a lot of energy in the long run. Didn't think about that, eh? Alright, so here is U4. Commander, U4 awaiting command. Commander, U4 awaiting command. Report status. Are your repairs complete? Negative. Access to repair station systems denied. Okay. State alternative repair options. Are you able to identify your defective components? Analyzing. If you can't access the systems, they must think you were destroyed too. It seems we're both outcasts. What data do you have on the crash? Analyzing. The radar was on a direct approach to the primary mission goal. The radar was hit by accurate ground fire. The shot hit an open port on the radar. Evasion was not possible. Where did the fire come from exactly? Analyzing. Cannot positively identify. There were no indications of magic. Possible responsible parties, the outlaws, clerics, or albs. Mm. Well, I ruled out the berserkers myself. I don't think it was the clerics. It was either the outlaws or the albs. Could have been the outlaws. The outlaws were at the scene, but Ray would have told me about it. So, yeah, high chance that it wasn't the outlaws. So, most likely the albs. We should investigate more. You mean it could have been the clerics who shot at us? Analyzing. Flight was over Berserker territory. Clerics did not have much reason to defend the primary mission goal. Calculations indicate low probability of cleric participation. Yeah, I've already excluded the clerics. Could the outlaws have been responsible for the shooting? Analyzing. Capabilities and behavior of the outlaws difficult to calculate. Cannot state probability. Okay, let me put it to you differently. This was a precise hit, right? I don't think the outlaws have that kind of uh, discipline, right? Otherwise, I could have evaded that, we could have dodged it, or you know, we would have seen it coming. Rather say, outlaws, an outlaw attack would have been something messy, and maybe more of them. No. And also, uh, my brother from another mother showed up way too soon and way too convenient. My bet is that he caused it. Albs too? What exactly do you mean? Analyzing. Possible indications that an Elex powered weapon was used. Albs use Elex operated weapons. Status of open port on the radar was unusual. Port could only have been opened and secured in place during maintenance in Alb repair station. I was told it was faulty. Why would our own people sabotage the mission? Analyzing. Motive unknown. Identity of shooter. Unknown. But there are some answers out there somewhere. Well, Kallax gained from my death, right? So there's motive and obviously opportunity. What about the Berserkers? They would have at least had a motive to shoot me down. Analyzing. The ground fire was from an energy weapon, not magical in origin. Probability of Berserker participation, low. Hmm. That somehow means everything and nothing at the same time. No, it means it was an alb attack. That's what it means. If you can identify the components you need, to make them here. list the components needed to repair. Analyzing. Command systems impaired. DI6 chipset required. The converter. Right. Yo, hold on. Hold that thought, right? We're fighting a raptor here.
Okay, you four. As I was saying, I already found the module when I attacked the converter. I have the target acquisition module you need. Initiate repairs to your command system. Let you reset your command systems. Analyze and report. Command systems functional and fully operational. U4 unit now awaiting command. State command. Follow me. If we become separated, meet me in a den in the ruins by Goliath. Here are the coordinates. Coordinates confirmed. Commander, analyzing. Incorrect faction affiliation. Our priorities have changed, U4. A faction offers a chance of survival and to get answers. Survival? Analyzing. Recommend more effective equipment. Really? Yeah, I'm working on it. Are we going to be okay, U4? Yes, Commander. Okay, good drone. I already like you. So, are your repairs complete? Negative. Weapon systems remain offline. Can you identify the problem? Target acquisition module is defective. U3, the drone at the crash site should provide a replacement part. You mean back at the Raider crash site? Okay. Right, well, we will deal with that in time. But I'm glad I got you and I know where to find you. So we got that out of the way. This place should be cleared, right? Because I cleared it. Just curious if for some reason they came back. This could be challenging. Uh, no, just a bunch of chickens. Okay, cool. Wait, 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 wait. Did I see something? A combat ro robot? You know what? This may be a good idea to to test some of this. I'll get this one. Right. So I wanted to test the MP function on the Redeemer and I expected it to be more... Well, it kind of was though, wasn't it? More beneficial. Maybe the fact that he didn't attack me meant that it was somehow incapacitated by the MP. Potentially. I don't know. It wouldn't be such a far-fetched thing to... Um, to say, maybe. Okay. Let's help you, Duress. Find that piece that you need. Also, here is where it was. Remarkable country. Okay. Well, that was simple. I found something hidden in Baron's hiding place. What'd you find? Here. Do you think this could belong to Baron? No, that was Ascor's. And now we find it at a place Baron confesses coming to regularly. Huh, I'd say we have some evidence. After what you did for me, I will trust you to decide what to do with the casket. I'll take it to Ragnar, and you can consider this case done. You needn't worry about it anymore. Is that everything you have to say? The destruction of a seedling is a matter for a warlord. Your involvement is over. Uh-huh. So what happens now? I take this to Ragnar. He'll deal with it from here. You want to know what I think about the murder? Very well. What do you think? <laughs> I think you are involved somehow. That's what I think. But I personally don't give a rat's ass, so... Well, I don't think any of the people on the list did it. There's just not the proof. There's only one person associated with Ascor we've not investigated. You. Me? You were a rival to Ascor. You carry a sword. Then you find out Baron goes to where the seedling was found and suddenly think he's a prime suspect. You can't think I did it. I do. It's simple. You murdered Ascor. What are you talking about? You can't seriously think it was me. Tell me your alibi. You don't know what you're talking about. You spend your time outside, Goliath. And you spend all your time trying to persuade me not to investigate this. Then tell me. Tell me, or you'll have to tell Ragnar. Ragnar will see me dead. I'm an outsider, and Asgore was born a berserker. He was known, and he was one of Ragnar's favorites. So you did kill him. 
Kill him? Yes. Murder him? No. I found Asker by the lift one day. He'd managed to kill the seedling he'd been given. He knew that would stop him becoming a paladin. He attacked me. So why hide that? And why frame Baron? Baron's been blackmailing me. He found me with Ascor's body. He knows I'm an outsider. Who would they believe? Who do you believe? I gave you a chance. Won't you do that for me? I would because this happens to me all the time too. Assholes attack me out of a sudden. Assholes blackmail me. You know what happened to them? I killed them. I'm with you, brother. I can see why you did it. I'll keep your secret. Thank you. You don't know what a weight this has been. I owe the Berserkers. Now I owe them more. I didn't want him dead, but he flipped on me. I don't think it helped that it was me. He couldn't stand the idea that he'd be facing exile while I continued on as a warrior. What is in the casket? Property that belongs to the Berserkers. You now know who the murderer is. That's what you needed to discover. Ragnar wants answers. This won't be over until he's happy he has them. Time for you to step aside and let me finish this. What do you mean? I solved the murder. I will get the reward. Wait a moment. I could tell Ragnar that murderer wasn't a berserker. You could also tell him it was me. You'll have to take that risk. You don't believe I can let you go to Ragnar after that? Then draw your weapon or trust me. Then do it. But quickly. The sooner we have it behind us, the better. I agree fully. Let's get this shit done. I don't want to spend too much time thinking about Ragnar. Or any time at all. So let's put this behind us and do some other important stuff. Well, actually important stuff. You ordered the warrior Durus to investigate Ascor's murder? Yes. Ascor was a trusted and well-liked member of our people. So it was only right that his murder should be investigated by Duras. Justice will be done. Ascor's murderer must face the punishment they deserve. Well, we're basically framing a blackmailer, but it's not like you'll figure it out, Ragnar, of all people. I have some information about Ascor's murder. Anything you know would be helpful. What have you learned? Baron murdered Ascor. He confessed to me. There's no doubt in my mind that he did it. Baron? I only put him on the list because he was on duty outside Goliath. But if he's confessed, he's confessed, and our murderer is found. I will have him arrested immediately. Justice must be done. No, I have a better idea. You found the evidence to find him guilty. Now you will punish him. With pleasure. Then go quickly. That bastard doesn't deserve to walk free. You did well to bring this information to me. Here. Take this reward as thanks for ending this matter. I am surprised you solved this before Duras. Ah, oh, Ragnar, this is the reason I just despise you, man. I mean, you just took my word at face value and sent me without any kind of investigation to murder a berserker. He's a blackmailer and a piece of shit, yes. But what can I say? You should have looked into this matter. Uh, rather... Nah, I can't even say that I'm disappointed because I just expect this from him. You'd better get rid of that technology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Where is this guy anyway? Yeah. So much for the great laws of Goliath and the Berserkers. Pretty weak sauce, if you ask me. I'm glad I didn't join them. Seeing how shit gets done here. Oh, keep it short, I'm tired. Warlord Ragnar sent me. You've been found guilty of Ascar's murder and will face justice. What? No, I'm not a murderer. Duras killed Ascor. Oh, you expect me to believe that? 
It's the truth. Please, look at me. I have enough trouble getting up in the morning. I couldn't murder anyone. Oh, all right, all right. If the truth won't get me out of it, will shards? I didn't do this. <laughs> How about I kill you and take the shards? You're as bad as Duras, and I'm not going to end up like Ascor. You yes, messed you will. Up there. I'll get you. Nope. I'll get you. Look out! <laughs> In the end, it was me who killed him. It was Duras. Well done, Duras. Oh man, you did this yourself. Well, see, we don't have any more uh, people to point at you. Was it evil? Fuck yeah, it was evil. It wasn't fair, it wasn't anything. It was bullshit what we did, but... Yeah, that's the Berserker way, perhaps. <laughs> Berserker way, Berserker law, Berserker shit. A brave choice. Is that everything you have to say? From a lost sheep to a wolf. When fate brings us together, we will see. I could use your help. You lead, I'll follow. Opportunities are there to be seized. Good man. Do you think we make a good team, Duras? Two experienced warriors like us? I feel like there is nothing we cannot do. A true warrior carries his weapons with pride. <laughs> well... I think we are like-minded in that regard. Right. Then there's one other companion I need to deal with. You go and wait. Should go. All right. And I'll deal with you four here. Status report of our last mission goals. Primary goal. Locate and secure Thorold, highest leader of the Berserkers, known as the Pilgrim. Mission status failed. Secondary goal, secure data describing transmutation process of pure elex into mana. Mission status failed. Tertiary goal, scout Edan for weaknesses in the Berserker defenses. Mission status failed. Well, that was a success, huh? Negative. Commanding unit status, privileges revoked. Execution ordered as a result of mission failure. Great. Well, I have definitely succeeded at all of them by now, but, you know, it's not like it matters. Let's go. Follow me. Right. Where do we find your parts, mister? Oh, right. We need to go back to the raider. It shouldn't be any difficulty whatsoever, because I cleared everything that way. We definitely passed that way a couple of times. So we should be good. Now you four here cannot fight, which means I should probably avoid anything complicated. Not that there would be anything complicated. Except for maybe a little biter. Both technology. Oh, never mind. This one will take a little bit more of effort, but not much. Uh, wait. If there's a pack leader, doesn't that mean there's usually a couple of more of them? Yes. Whoa, so you can attack after all. That looked like an attack to me. Alright, well, you kind of seem to be the range support type, which isn't bad. Plenty of other known associates who just charge in like crazy maniacs and then blame me for getting themselves so killed. I wouldn't believe the shit I get sometimes, for no reason.
Now, as far as I know, the best way to kill a troll is still with tech. My range weapon isn't so good, my melee is not going to do that much, well not much more than the black hole at least. So... For some of these things we're sticking to the regular. Uh, though there was not a troll here last time, that's for sure. The troll is new. Okay, let's ignore the biter and just do what we came here to do. The lift was here. And I need to call it because I I kind of flew away last time. I agree, you four. Oh, you got a flashlight. That's useful. Because I can't really equip torches easily anymore. Okay. Any second now. Well, I came out of these ruins as a weak link. I could barely hold a broken metal Analyzing structural integrity. But now, I'm one tough cookie, aren't I? Yes, sir. Now let's find that component to make you also pretty awesome. And then we'll be good. Let's see if there's anything salvageable from this drone. I can't repair this. Okay, come here. Come here, boy. <laughs> uh, did you get lost or what are you doing exactly? You four? Um, right. It's a door. You're supposed to go around it. All right. I have the target acquisition module you need. Initiate repairs to your weapon system. Report status. Analyzing. Weapon system is now operational. Then you can follow me and we'll test it out. All right, you four. You and me, buddy. Let's try to fix this broken world. <laughs> 